top six or more recipes that we've perfected while living here in Sicily in no particular order. We're going to have a list some of the ingredients, but I got to tell you, this was a tough list to put together. It's a bazillion things that we eat on a regular basis, but we try to give you some that she makes here that she's learned how to make that are relatively healthy and still first cousins to the Mediterranean diet. And they're all simple to make. They're not tough to make. In my opinion, Alfred, it is the ingredients, the certain mix of ingredients that make these foods delicious. Of course, we use all fresh ingredients local. It's called Zero Kilometer Food. And my first one is the scacciata. Now, this is mainly a Catanese food, so eaten in the Catania area. Down in Ragusa, they have one. It's called the scacce. It's made a little bit different. But the good thing is that you can eat it standing up or it's a really good hearty meal as well. You make it with meat or you can substitute it with spinach, cauliflower, or broccoli. My favorite is the one that we use, the pork, the ground pork. But you don't have to use ground pork. As she said, you could use broccoli, you could use cauliflower. You could use any vegetable you want. Some people call it even a spinach pie. Put spinach in there with cheese, you go to heaven. You'll go right to heaven. Eh? The main ingredients of a scacciata are meat or some kind of a vegetable and also chopped onions, tomatoes, and a little bit of olives and the cheese makes it delicious. All right, next one, Alfred, is yours. I like the bacala, which is the cod fish, okay? It's bacala, it means it was salted and then it was dehydrated and then they reconstituated it with water and you make your traditional tomato sauce in the last 15 minutes you put in the cod or the bacala onions olives and potatoes believe me when i tell you and what you, about the capers and raisins those are the ones that add that <laughs> You know what that means? <laughs> you can you just eat it right up, but now don't you know, put cheese on it. You now do not you know put cheese on that. What you could do is either bacala or stocco. But or there stocco, are three yeah. ingredients that I want to talk to you about before we go on with the list, and that is the pine nuts, the raisins, and the olives. Those three ingredients in the stocco, in some of the other uh, dishes like the caponata really bring out that agro dolce and before i moved to sicily i never thought of using these three ingredients in many of my dishes including by the way the meatloaf i use pine nuts raisins and olives delicious all right the next one is something i'll never forget alfred zappola my first night here in sicily you made me a fava bean soup and i'll never forget it because we ate it right out here and i just never had fava beans that way. And the way Alfred makes it is he boils it a little bit and you can make it a stew or a soup depending so how much water you put and then you have the onions, the peas and you finish it off, salt, pepper, hot pepper flakes of course and the finish off with a parmigiano raggiano and chopped parsley. The whole thing is you don't want to overcook the fava. You want them a little bit, a little bit, I want to say a little bit below crunchy. And the best time to eat that is when it's tepid. So after you cook it, let it set there for a while. And then you eat it. It's more like a stew. I prefer the stew version. And in the springtime here in Sicily, in the early summer, there's plenty of fava to go around. And also, the fresh peas eat, right? Oh, Although you can use frozen peas if you want. It's over the top, delicious and healthy. So that's one of them. Now let's talk about pastas. We're not going to talk about any red sauces because we have done the pasta al forno and the sugo and the sauces and so forth. But we're going to talk about two very unique pastas that I wouldn't have thought about making before I came here to Sicily. Pasta with the cauliflower or pasta with the broccoli. You know, you could use dry pasta. I like the penne, honestly, or the rigatoni, but you could also use spaghetti or a long pasta. Or fresh pasta is great as well. But what you want to do is you want to parboil first whatever you're going to use, whether it's broccoli or cauliflower. Chop it up 
put it in for about eight minutes and then take it out. Now in that water, just add a little bit more water, a little bit of EVOO and cook your pasta. And with it five minutes left before it's done, you throw in the, the whether it's broccoli or cauliflower or even spinach. Then you hit it after it's all done with EVOO, Parmesan cheese, and it's great. And a little bit of chopped parsley as well. Now or we, red pepper flakes too. Now besides this recipe, all of the foods that we're talking about, we have recipes on our channel called, a uh, playlist called Foods of Sicily. So if you want more in depth on how to do it and also visually see it, we'll have links to all of them in the description as well. And by the way, the new pasta that you've been having with the pancetta and the capogolo, the key is to make them crisp, crisp, crisp with the EVOO, salt, pepper, and Parmesan cheese, right? I prefer, frankly, using the uh, pancetta with butter. I put it in a cold pan, heat, put the heat on. As soon as you hear the first sizzle, throw in a teaspoon or a tablespoon of butter to your taste. Flip it over, and what happens is all the fat kind of like melts. And what's left is a, a meat, so to speak, the consistency, consistency and taste of uh, bacon. It's just unbelievable. Hearty and delicious. And finish it off with olive oil and parmigiano. That's right. And, in, and if you wanted to put some EVOO on in the pasta, you could. Or butter. You know, the French mix butter and EVOO together all the time. You ought to try it. Something very unique. For sure. The next one is the caponata. Now, I've been making caponata here for years. I made it first time 2015 with my friend Vanessa, of course. We have a video on that as well. But I discovered recently that you can also bake it. So you either fry all the ingredients separately or you can put everything together and bake it. And again, the key ingredients are the raisins, the pine nuts, and the olives, but give it that agro dolce. And you know, every region, every household really here in Sicily has a recipe of their own. They put different uh, items in it. Some people put carrots, some people put uh, peppers, red peppers in there. So it's really a great thing. But those three ingredients, the olives, the pine nuts, the raisins, and of course the vinegar, which added, which adds that little agro dolce really delicious but eggplant you can make in so many ways here right Alfred eggplant is the most underrated thing in Sicily however if you just put them in a toaster oven with a little bit of EVOO on top of it salt and pepper you don't have to fry it and then one last thing have you ever heard of cabaladina mm. cabaladina is essentially the same thing as uh, what she's talking about except you can add in um, celery and chicken Ooh. and put it in the oven. Oh, my grandmother Zina Zappoli used to make that all the time. Celery actually is another yeah. key ingredient yeah. in the caponata, which I love. Some people don't put it in there, but it's delicious. In some restaurants, they actually add to that mix some swordfish uh, bites or um, some other kind of tuna. When tuna is in season, they have that agrodolce uh, tuna as well that had some of the similar ingredients. All right, the next one, really proud of myself, last uh, Christmas, Alfred challenged me to make his mother's angelotti Christmas cookies, and after a few tries, I think I got it Ladies down. And but I angelotti and cookies in general, I was never a baker, mainly a cook, because you know what the difference is. For, to be a baker, you have to be more of a scientist because it has to be the exact ingredients. For cooking, I like to add a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, a pinch of this, a pinch of that. <laughs> so, no, I understand what you're saying. The big difference between the Italian baked products and the American baked products is the amount of sugar that's put, put in. I've actually acquired a taste over the years now when eating the Italian cookies. Uh, they're not... They don't have nearly as much sugar, so to speak, white sugars or processed sugars as the Americans do. But either way, it's, it's to your taste. Very good. And finally, another one that 
I think, and well, he thinks, and really that's the most important, is the pizza. You know, it I don't want to brag. You know, I do want to brag. My Esther, <laughs> my Bunster, my Hungarian Bunster makes the best damn pizza in Sicily. Honestly, you can either make it with the pre the pre bought uh, pizza dough or fresh from the baker. And she uses a whole bunch of stuff, but I like the way that she does it with the with the buffalo mozzarella, right? Yep. Oh. And the tomatoes, the fresh tomatoes. Salt and pepper. Sometimes she'll put in anchovies if I ask her to, or uh, olives if I ask her to. Homemade pizza. Or artichoke sometimes. Artichoke hearts is far better than store bought pizza. That's if if out of all these things Thanks, that we've honey. talked about today, that I think that you as a person wanted to make some stuff at your house, master pizza. It's not that hard, and then you could put it in what you like. And guess what? You'll never go to a, a pizzeria again, except when you go out to eat. <laughs> All right. And finally, I'll never forget this recipe uh, that I learned from your cousin, Josephine. When she came here to visit, we did the stuffed artichoke with the breadcrumbs. Of course, we have a recipe on this as well. Parmesan cheese, chopped parsley, garlic, and we cook it over the stove. It takes about an hour. You put some water in there, make sure they stand up uh, nice and straight. Keep the cover on. Also keep basting it to keep it nice and moist. Add a little bit of olive oil and it is something to die for, especially in the winter time here in Sicily. You know, the other way that people cook it is they, they don't do it on the stovetop. They put it in the oven. The big difference is you really have to keep your eyeballs on the uh, uh, artichokes in the oven because they'll get dried out if you don't consistently baste them. But don't forget the artichoke hearts. Besides pulling off the, the stuff That's on the... That's the best part. The artichoke hearts are the best part. And I actually eat them once a week now. On Fridays. It's incredible. It's, um, they're unbelievable. <laughs> the way I like it, though, is just with the garlic and the parsley and just bake like that. So many ways. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have you tried any of these dishes? And what dishes have you tried and perfected that are Sicilian? We really want to hear about that. What's next on the list for me to perfect? I think that you ought to work on a little bit, not that I want to tell you what to do, but the, all the rolled meat things are very hard. The, uh, we call them brugelatini with the, with the beef, and then you put inside breadcrumbs and um, uh, onion, and then you roll them up, and you put the little toothpicks in them, and then you broil them. My mother used to cook those. You Remember I made the swordfish oh. one time, the rolled sword, swordfish with, with sword. the woman do with in Catania? Yeah, it's, that's an art form, though. To make that stuff, that's an art form. You know what happens when you give me a challenge, Alfred Zappala. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a challenge right now. Homemade pasta. Mm. Put that oh, on your list. Oh, gosh. Okay. Homemade that's a pasta. good one, Alfred. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like and share it with a friend. You're going to love this here. food. And remember, whatever you like to eat is good so long as it's in moderation. As Michael Joe used to say, everything in moderation and you're going to be fine. That's what I wanted to say. Ching, ching. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao. Bye-bye.